Hey guys, Marshall Jump here, and today I've got another custom for you. But this time, it won't be Frostgrave, or anything to do with wargaming with miniatures or, you know. So, today it's going to be a custom Yu-Gi-Oh deck. No, it's not going to be for any format, it's just if you're, if you're not competitive, you just play with your mates, you don't mind what cards they use, unless they're fake, of course. Don't let anyone ever use fake cards. Unless they're just the same as the normal ones, and I guess that's fine. But, here we go. It, this is my dinosaur deck, because when you just like a car boot sale or a flea market or something like that, just buy a cheap ton of cards, get some random stuff. This is basically what I've made my deck out of. So, for starters, for like the big main card, because there's always one in the deck, isn't there? Like if you buy a deck from the shop, I guess, you'll probably find a huge card that everyone wants. But I don't really have much in the way of new cards. I mean, newest I've got is a few XZs monsters and that from like Star Pack 2014. But here's the big card. We have got the Ultimate Tyranno. If this card is in attack position at the beginning of your battle phase, fir first you can and must attack all monsters on your opponent's side of the field once each with this card. Then we've got Tyranno Infinity, which is like one of my favourite cards in this deck. Very, very powerful, because it's a level 4 as you can see. Question mark attack though, and that usually symbolises that it's rare. And I'm not sure if it is, but I've not seen many of these. The original attack of this card becomes the number of your dinosaur type monsters that are removed from play times a thousand points. And a lot of the spells is like, hey, do you want some more health points? Well, just remove from play a bunch of dead dinosaurs in your graveyard, then conjunct and then use it in conjunction with this. Hey, you get a thousand points of damage with that. So hopefully they don't have anything like trap hole or fissure if that's like your only monster then I got a couple of these black tyranno by the way you can make tweaks to the deck you don't have to follow it I'm not ordering you to make this deck right now kind of thing if your opponent controls no cards except defense position monster cards this, a card, this card can attack your opponent directly this is a level 7 like the first card was but it's pretty powerful. Never mind the, the cool effect. Then, since they were, um, you know, black tyrannos, we've got some dark dry ceratops there. Three in them, to be exact. Here we have during battle between this attacking card and a defense position monster whose defense is lower than the attack of this card, in fact, the difference is battle damage to your opponent. If you can't tell, I'm trying to read the effects quite quick here because I don't want it to be a really, 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 really long video. So, Black Stego, but are a theme going on here. Don't even know if they're all from same packs. I haven't checked that in a long while. I probably have before, but forgot. When this card is selected as an attack target by your opponent's monster, this card can change to defense position. It's a level 4 and it's quite sneaky. Just like, hey, I'm going to attack you. No, you're not. I'm changing to defense. Deal some direct damage it has 2,000 defense so that's pretty good I mean when there's them defensive like level 4s it's usually 2,000 there are some that have like 2,200 but anyway next card Black Terror got three of these that last card I had two of them I'm not sure if I mentioned that Black Terror when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard except when destroyed by battle it's returned to your hand Level 3, attack 1000, defense 500. Pretty weak, but it's a good, like, staple card. Just chuck it in there. Get some defense when you're, like, about to lose or something. Here's one of the newest cards I've got. Jurak Protops. Very powerful. It's level 4. And when I bought this pack from, I think it was Waterstones or something, like, a few days after, I never saw the packs again. So hopefully they are quite rare, because that would mean all the cards in it are quite rare, and that means I got a cool card, because it was exclusive to that set. So, 
This card gains 100 attack for each monster your opponent controls. Pretty good. It already has 1,700. And it's level 4. So, powerful. Then we've got Sabersaurus. No effect here. Pretty cool. Level 4, 1,900 attack. Very good. Then, this is in bad condition, but, you know, I don't care. Cabazoles. If you can get it in nice condition, then you won't get done for cheating. 1,700 attack, 1,500 defense. Good all-rounder, especially at level 4. Hyper Hammerhead. Another level 4. This time it's got an effect, though. When this monster battles an opponent's monster, unless the opponent's monster is destroyed by a battle, it is returned to its owner's hand at the end of the damage step. So you could take a bit of life point damage and chuck a level 7 back to the hand and then they have to get rid of two more monsters. Got a couple of these. Yurabi. Very old cards these. Um, Star Deck Pegasus, one of them's from. Um, 1500 attack, 800 defense. Sorry if you can hear all thunder in the background, it's a very horrible day. Got two Gilosaurus. Gil, not Gilosaurus, I know it sounded a bit like that. Uh, level 3, 1400 attack, effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. If you do this, your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard. Very risky, very, very risky. Unless they have nothing in the graveyard, of course. Just chuck more of them out there. Now, this is a really good card. It's a very common card as well. Miracle Jurassic Egg. So if you have any cards that are sort of old, you'll probably have one of these. Level 4, 2000 attack, no, uh, 2000 defense, no attack. While this card is face up on your side of the field, this cannot be removed from play. Place two counters on this card each time dinosaur type monster card is sent to your graveyard. By tributing this card, select a special from one dinosaur type monster from your deck whose level is equal to or lower than the number of counters on this card when it was tributed. Tributing is like just getting rid of it to summon something, whereas getting it killed is just getting killed. It has to go to your graveyard. End of story. Baby Sarasaurus! Very cute. <laughs> Just look at him, he's stuck in his eggshell. Little chubby bugger. Level 2, 500 attack and defense. If this card is destroyed by an effect and sent to the graveyard, select one level 4 or lower dinosaur type monster from your deck and special summon it. So if you could get a Hydrogeddon or something, which are in this deck, then you can get another Hydrogeddon out and be like, boom, that's two monsters just because you killed this little baby with that crappy ability or whatever. And then I've got two Mad Sword Beast cards. Look at them beautiful beasts. <laughs> See what I did there? Um, it, during, it's the same as the like one of the first few cards. If it attacks something that's got lower de defense, you pierce and hurt the player as well. Very good. Not that outstanding of an attack and a defense, but oh well. Gonna have to deal with that. Here we go, Oxygeddon. Very powerful. I've not seen any of these apart from this one. Although I don't really look at them anymore. When this card is destroyed by battle with a pyro type monster and sent to the graveyard, you inflict 800 damage to both players directly. Then here's the one I read about earlier Hydrogeddon and Hydrogeddon. <coughs> When this card destroys an opponent's monster as a result of battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can special summon one Hydrogeddon from your deck. Woo! Right, we're on to spell cards now. Lightning Vortex, I'm sure you're all familiar with it. Destroy a card, destroy all of their monsters on the field. Then we've got Jurassic World. It was made before the movie, so the movie. It's not ripping off the movie, is what I'm trying to say. All face up dinosaur type monsters gain 300 attack and defense, and that's a uh, world like field card what you want whatever you want to call it uh got some equip cards now got invigoration sure you're familiar with this if you know like any old ish cards an earth monster equipped with this card increases its attack by 400 points but decreases its de defense by 200 megaborph got two of these right while your life points are lower than your opponent's, the original attack of the equipped monster is doubled. 
while your life plays are higher, the original attack of the equipped monster is halved. Rare Yoku. Halve the attack of one face up monster and add the same amount of add the same amount to the attack of another face up monster until the end of this turn. That's the artwork. Right, raise body heat, another equipped card. A dinosaur type monster equipped with this card increases its attack and defense by three hundred points. Heavy storm <laughs> quite convenient. Um destroy all spell trap spell and trap cards on the field. I'm trying to hurry up now because it's been ten minutes and you might be a bit bored and clicked off already. Uh Sabbath Blessing Activate only when a monster you control has attacked your opponent directly, gain life points equal to the battle damage that the monster inflicted to your opponent. Meteor of Destruction. Inflict 1000 points of damage to your opponent's life points. You cannot activate this card if your opponent's life points are 3000 or less. So, yeah, you got to be quite hopeful to use that card. Got two tail swipes. Whishing! Back to everyone on the cards. Select so one face up level 5 or higher dinosaur type monster on your side of the field to activate this card. Select and return to the owner's hand up to two monsters that are either lower level than the selected monster or face down on your opponent's side of the field. So we're just launching some pretty low level cards. Final magic spell card! Big evolution pill! Uh, get rid of a dinosaur. Remains face pop field for three turns. Um, you can normal summon any dinosaur without tributing at all. Sacred Armor, known as quite a trunk card. Activate uh, w when they do an attack on you. Destroy the attacking monster. Wabaku. Woo. Uh, any damage inflicted by an um, opponent's monster zero this turn. Seismic Shockwave, whooshing! Oh, you probably didn't see that. Whooshing! Uh, when a dinosaur type monster on your field is destroyed and just like killed, select three of your opponent's spell and trap card zones. You cannot select a zone if there's a card in it. Selected zones cannot be used. On the first standby phase, this card's out, destroy it. Then you can return one dinosaur type monster from your graveyard to your hand. Very good. Two survival instincts. Do 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 do. Select any number of dinosaur type monsters in your graveyard, remove them from play, gain 400 life points for each one you remove, and then don't forget Tyranno Infinity, getting 1000 attack for each of them. Yes. Draining shield. Whooshing, whooshing, whoppa. Negate the attack of one of your opponent's monsters and gain life points equal to its attack. Very similar to that, negate attack. Uh, when it attacks you, just stop the attack. Hunting instinct. Instinct. Uh, when a monster is special summoned to your opponent's field, special summon one dice or type monster from your hand. Watch out, wee, ho. Zing Zhen Hu. Select two set spell or trap cards on the field and activate this card. As long as this card is on the field, the selected cards cannot be used. Reinforcements! Plus 500 attack for, for the rest of the turn on one guy that you own. Gift of the Mystical Wolf. Increase your life points by 300 points for each monster on the field. Volcanic Corruption, destroy the field spell, Jurassic World, um, and then destroy all cards on the field. Nice. And finally, whew, two fossil excavations. Uh, get rid of one card from your hand, select a dinosaur type monster in your graveyard, special summon it. If it had an effect, it doesn't now. When this card's destroyed, destroy the monster that it brought back. Oh god, that was lightning cool. But uh, anyway guys, see you next time. Hope you didn't get bored. Jesus Christ. Sorry about the thunder. Oh, I can't control it. Um, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Probably didn't, but oh well. Bye.